Everyone's always asking, what should I eat to boost my testosterone? Well, I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna answer just that. What does the science say about what kind of diet you should eat to have the best or highest testosterone you possibly can? If you're new here, I'm a board certified urologist and I make content on urologic health, bladder condition, sexual health, and much more. Make sure if you like what you see, you subscribe and share this channel with your friends. So to answer this question, I'm going to dive deep into a study that was recently published about the association of dietary inflammation with testosterone levels. So testosterone production is vital for a number of bodily functions. And in fact, testosterone deficiency is present in 20 to 50% of men. In regards to sexual function, sometimes that can present as decreased libido, difficulty in achieving orgasm, and difficulty obtaining erections. To really study how diet impacts your testosterone level, a number of studies have been done. But this study looked at the Dietary Inflammatory Index. And what is that? So it's a scoring algorithm that takes the food you eat and assigns it a score based on how inflammatory is it? Is it pro-inflammatory or anti-inflammatory? And it determined these scores by looking at a number of studies that were done comparing certain components of food with the way our body reacts to them, certain inflammatory markers in our blood and how they increase or decrease based on the consumption of those things. In this study, they looked at a national survey called the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. This is developed by the National Center for Health Statistics to look at the health and nutritional status of U.S. adults. And this data consisted of surveys that were filled out by people as well as certain blood work and other measurements that were taken. And in this study, they looked at men over the age of 20 who completed a 24-hour dietary history or journal of everything they were eating and got their testosterone levels checked. And this study included 4,000 men. And what they found was that men who had the most pro-inflammatory diet were were 29% more likely to have a testosterone deficiency compared to those who had the most anti-inflammatory diet. If those men were obese, that number went up to 59% higher. So how does inflammation actually impact testosterone production? Well, when you have inflammation, you have higher levels of inflammatory cytokines or chemical messengers in the blood. And this blood creates an environment where there are lots of reactive oxygen species, particularly in the testicles. And the testicles need a very specific environment in order to perform optimally and produce testosterone. So while this study doesn't specifically link causation, meaning that eating a pro-inflammatory diet doesn't necessarily cause testosterone deficiency, it's certainly correlated with it. So what kind of diet should you eat? You want to look for a diet similar to the Mediterranean diet, one that is high in whole grains or complex carbohydrates, not simple white sugars, but more complex carbohydrates like brown rice and oatmeal. And you want to include fish, fruits, and vegetables. You want to include a moderate intake of things like olive oil, and you want to avoid butter and red meats. So bottom line is there is no one food that you're going to eat that's going to boost your testosterone. It's a lifestyle change. Is it easy? Well, it's not as easy as adding a single ingredient to your grocery list, but you can make small changes and over time those will add up. So start by just changing one meal or one snack to be a little bit healthier and do that for a week. And after you've mastered that, you can go on to changing other components of your diet slowly but surely and see how it improves not only your sex life, but your overall health and quality of life. Hopefully this was helpful. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.